Okay, welcome to Intro to Programming. Uh, this is uh, 2017 spring, and uh, we're going to be following a book, this book here, and uh, that is available, well, let, let's go to Manaba. So here's our class here. And if you look in the first homework assignment, there's a link uh, here to a PDF version of this book. Also, you can just look up, uh, just do a search for Zell Python. And if you go down to this one, it's here. So this is an old version of the book. You can also purchase the newer version of the book at Amazon. Uh, so, but if you just want to look through this, this is the text. So uh, we're going to be, uh, in this class, we're going to be mainly focusing on Python, but we may also combine it with some Visual Basic .NET. Uh, so let's go back to Manaba. So here's our first week's assignment here. So you can check that out as well. So let's begin. Uh, chapter one is computers and programs. And so this is kind of basic information about what computers are, what computer science is, and what programs are. So to understand the respective roles of hardware and software in a computing system. So we have hardware and we have software. And the next uh, we're going to talk about, do we want to learn what computer scientists study and the techniques that they use? and to understand the basic design of a modern computer. Furthermore, we want to understand the form and function of, a com of computer programming languages and to uh, begin using the Python, pro Python programming language and to learn about chaotic models and their impl implications for computing. So a modern computer can be defined as a machine that stores and manipulates information under the control of a changeable program. Two key, key elements are computers are devices for manipulating information and computers operate under the control of a changeable program. What is a computer program? A detailed step-by-step -step set of instructions telling a computer what to do. So that's what a program is. It tells the computer what to do. If we change the program, the computer performs a different set of actions or a different task. The machine stays the same, but the program changes. Programs are executed or carried out. All computers have the same power with suitable programming i.e. each computer can do the things any other uh, computer can do if they have apparently the right program. Program power software programs rule the hardware, the physical machine. The process of creating this software is called programming. Why learn to program fundamental part of computer science? Having an understanding of programming helps you have an understanding of the strengths and limitations of computers. It helps you become a more intelligent user of computers. It can be fun. It's a form of expression. It helps the development of problem-solving skills, especially in analyzing complex systems by reducing them to interactions between simpler systems, and programmers are in great demand. So, okay. Uh, let's stop this one and